child's son is on the autism spectrum and has an IEP. He's in general education classes, but I really feel like he needs to be in a resource math algebra class. If he needs to have a resource class, would that prevent him from going to a university right away after graduating high school? So the only thing that it stops you from going to a university is because you don't have the requirements to go to that university. So non-special ed, um, you know, we had this little thing called COVID. I don't know if you guys know about it. Um, and my last child graduated the second year of that. And um, we had done all of this testing and testing and doing all this testing. And finally, all almost all of the schools that he was applying to said, never mind, we don't care about any of that. So the requirements to go to a college, whether it's a, um, um, a college, a two-year college, a four-year college, uh, some sort of specialty program are very um, dependent on what they want. So there are requirements in your state to get a high school diploma, and then there are requirements that usually are additional over those foundational credit hours to um, be able to apply to a four-year college. So let's say that you're missing some of those credits because your child is in resource or your child has modified work. That would mean in Texas, for instance, you would get 22 credits, you'd be missing four credits. You can always take those credits online. And um, we have lots of online classes that are available in any state to get those credits that you're missing. But let's not sit and tell parents with kids with disabilities, oh, if you do this, you can't go to a four-year college. So make sure that um, you're giving them the right information.